We show that face again, then I have copyright issues with YouTube, okay? There's a couple things that's happened to me recently. I actually was on a podcast. I was actually on two episodes of a podcast, to be perfectly honest. I was on uh, The Bad Kids with DJ Keemstar and Only Use Me Blade. You can find the link to that podcast in the description. Uh, K-Pop was on there as well. So, so was Wicked Shrapnel. And uh, we had a pretty good time. It was, a, it, was a, it was a great time all together. I mean, you can kind of tell they're new to the podcast scene because th- there is a couple, you know, little lackluster mistakes. But overall, if you're just looking for something to chill out and like, play some games or do some homework and listen to, check it out in the description below, dudes. Very cool. I am DJ Keemstar, and I am here with... Only use me blade. We have Wings Lady of Redemption, boys. and we have the lovely K-pop. So today's topics are whatever. So what's what's new? Um, well, let's just get this out of the way. Obviously, we are better than Painkiller already, <laughs> and so we've absorbed Wings. Um, figured he'd jump ship now. He was a free agent. We picked him up. Start that rumor. No, no, no. But obviously, uh, let's just get that out of the way. Uh, we are obviously a starting up podcast, and uh, we're, there's no. It's not a competition. So, uh, um, you guys live streaming this? Any? We're not live streaming this. No. No, uh, this is recorded. But PKA is obviously an inspiration to like what we do. You know, it's all good. We we had what was the one that Hutch and Cena Anderson and Trump did? Host migration. Yeah, that's one we that's one we spawned off of. <laughs> <laughs> and wh- I remember Woody once saying that he had the like he got the idea from the optic guys. Like maybe the optic guys had a thing going. I don't know. No, we didn't. No, I, basically, I seen host migration. I seen him doing it. And Kyle and Woody at the time had like hundred <laughs> subscriber channels. But I'm like, dude, me, you, and Kyle, we should sit there, get together, and we should do this podcast. I'll buy the servers and. And we did it. Me and Kyle promoted it for like a week, and then the first the first podcast we we did we didn't do the first like ten live. We uploaded it on Podbean, and then we started doing them live. We had like three hundred. Now they're now it's up to we, uh, I think we get four hundred thousand views a week on it. Wow! And we get like over a million hits all together on each episode. That's amazing. That's amazing. <sighs> yeah, um, that was. I've been, like, I've been on that bitch. Hell of times. Yeah, uh, and I, I was happy when we were beating down the Joe Rogan experience for a while. <laughs> yeah, he's the number one guy right now, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. What is that jersey? What is that gamer show supposed to be about? Is there like a TV show going to happen? What is this, I, dude? I seen your post on your uh, Skype thing. I don't I have no idea what that is. What do you? What do you know? I, I know there's like three guys living in Los Angeles, and that's it. <laughs> Well, who is this? Like, we're, what's it's, it's like? Gold Glove, like, it's Gold Glove, T Mart, and Jericho. Oh, they're the ones that are doing the Jersey Shore gaming thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, how are they going to go pick up chicks? Like, are they going to pick up girls? I, like, I, I asked T Mart, and like, I asked T Mart, like, which one of you is going to bring the girl home half blitzed, and you know, and try to deal with her fat friend like cock blocking you? That's what I want to see. I actually was talking to him. I want to see if yeah. I could uh, go down there and just party with those dudes. Are, are any of them of age? I don't don't think so. I have I have no I have no issue with any of those guys. Those guys are all cool, but like you kind of need to be over twenty. Like like you kind of need some alcoholics to make a show good, you know? Right. Yeah. No, there's there's room to make the show good. Come on now, all of them are under age. That means they can get the underage hookers and it'd be consensual. They should put me on that show. I'd be out there with Jericho. I'd bring a bitch in and he'd be like, "What you doing, Wings? I'm about to go have the fun movement." <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there is that. There is that avenue. I can't believe I didn't think about. Yeah, it. I mean, like we was talking about on FNG last, last time I was on it. Like, you can't pay a person for sex, but you can pay two people to have sex. So what they got to do is they got to get three underage girls and pay pay each one of them. Just hand the money off, so they're not really paying for the wait, sex. Wait, wait, I've always, wait, I've always wait, thought wait. that was funny. I always thought that was funny. <laughs> you can, you could, you could fuck a girl on camera and pay her money, but if there's no camera involved, it's prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. There has to be a record camper. of it. <laughs> if you don't agree to pay for sex, but you leave them a donation, is that porn? Is that like prostitution? <laughs> a donation. <laughs> yeah, like you just leave a hundred bucks on the table, like she doesn't have to ask for. It. Isn't ninety yeah. percent of the hookups <laughs> prostitution? No matter what, I mean, you're paying yeah. for a movie. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, paying for a meal. A right? twenty dollar movie, a fifty dollar meal. You got probably burn out another thirty dollars worth of gas. You got to buy those condoms. 
You know. Yeah, the condoms are expensive now. Like you get the fire and ice magnum stuff. It's prostitution. Oh, fire and ice is terrible. terrible. Fire and ice is not terrible, dude. Oh my god, yeah, it is. That like, oh, it doesn't work with my vagina or something because I I hate that shit. It like. Do you oh, use the his and hers KY? You no. know, I can agree with you that on on that K pop. It's just it doesn't. It's not normal. I love the fire and ice, dude. It makes it We're feel a lot wetter. Made I don't go in bare back here, son. I ain't trying to have no little wings. <laughs> you don't have self control. It ain't about self control. You can get a girl pregnant off pre cum, and you can't stop yourself from pre cum. You know what? I think pre uh, pre cum is a myth. I swear to God, it's a myth. It isn't a myth. What the fuck are you talking about? You never had a wet spot on your pants? That's not a like myth. that. It's no. Not I don't think it's real. Like I pull out like a champion every time. Like oh, it's a new let's, go, let's go back to this. Let's let's go back to wet spot on your pants. Why are you having pre cum on your pants? You never you never been you like riding around on a date and you're really turned on by the girl and you're pre coming on yourself because you got a hard dick. No, I want to meet that. Girl. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's not. It's not it's coming. Coming pre cum is like when you're. When your when your dick just lets out that little bit to lubricate itself, it's not like you're busting a load. It doesn't really look like semen, though. I don't. It, it's even, almost like water. I have never yeah. experienced pre cum. I have no idea what the fuck that is. What you're talking about is like pee. I think it isn't pee. It a- it actually has semen properties. You can get a girl pregnant with it. I feel <laughs> like oh God, I feel like pre cum isn't a universal thing. I feel like it's. Uh, only that's, a, that's an exception to the rule. That's not a that's not a common. Yeah, thing. yeah, I agree because I've never like I don't know if what, I'm what dating it? if I'm dating uh, then you know I obviously use a condom you know any intelligent person would but if I'm with somebody I'm not using a fucking condom. Are you kidding me? Like just pull out. You I, there's too much risk for a child. I, I, I'm I'm not trying to write that hundred thousand dollar check. I have one kid, and that's because um, I just... That's why you push him down the stairs. I literally... That's that's what (laughs) stairs are for. Okay, he might not be willing to admit that even for a shock shot, that podcast... Even as a shock shot, that was a very crude comment. But I will admit that it was crude. But I think it was coming from a place where he wasn't as mature as he is now. I like to believe that. Brad, um, Brad being a rational adult here, he said, I think we all agree that Jordy was, Jordy had matured a ton, but he was still an adult when he said it, but we've moved on though. We I mean, should move on. There's things I didn't say last week that I'm like, oh yeah, you grow and change every day. Again, I'm going to use this defense and people hate this defense. I was 24 when I said that, or maybe 25. Mm-hmm. I wasn't an adult. I mean, like I know you. I know it's technically it, still adolescent. I mean, like it's it's considered an adult in today's society. But you gotta understand, when I started YouTube, I was 21. I was a kid. I'm I'm 26 and a half now, and. Um, you grow over time. You do. And I, I think people are seeing me stuck as this om, omnipotent, you know, ageless being. But no, you grow as a person over time. And you, you can see a lot of my behaviors and mannerisms have changed, even though I am still a passionate person. person. 